Thank you for joining us on this week in Erie. Joining us today is Stacy Malaszewski, who is a local woman who left for a little bit, mm -hmm. came back to the Northeast area, and back again for a couple of months. And you've written a book that I noticed on social media, and I thought this is something that maybe people who watch this would be really interested in knowing a little bit more about. So, Stacy, thank you for joining us. Thank you. For and um, tell us about rebuilding your temple, if you would. Sure. So it's called Rebuilding Your Temple, uh, Blueprints for True and Lasting Health. And it's basically one of those books that it's called a, a health book, but it's different in the fact that a lot of health books focus solely on one diet. They'll focus on the keto diet, the mm -hmm. vegan diet, something like that. And a lot of times that pigeonholes people to where they can't find the diet that's right for them without buying 30 books. Um, this book, though, is different in that it will take you through the process of how to listen to your body, how to take all the best things from all the other different diets and kind of put them together in your own unique plan. And, and tell us, you were saying too before we started that uh, you encourage people to, to speak to their doctors because it's important to be informed, which uh, we were saying I had a personal experience where I, I went in thinking I needed something, but I wasn't informed and maybe if I'd taken the time to learn, I could have asked the right questions. Yes, yes, this book, um, encourages people to start that conversation with their doctor. So you take all this information that you're getting chapter by chapter, and there's a workbook that's coming out too in another mm -hmm. month or so. And you put all of that in the workbook, and then you can take the workbook um, with your concerns, um, the things that you've learned, and you can talk to your doctor about it. It's kind of empowering people to take um, their health in their own hands, but it's also helping the doctors. The doctor should serve as the general contractor over the entire rebuilding process. So the the reader, you know, is the builder. You're rebuilding your own health, health mm -hmm. but the doctor is the general contract, especially if you have pre-existing conditions or you're taking medications, things of that nature because you know those are those are important. You need somebody right. to oversee that. Well, and too, if you can if you can hold up the cover, it's hard to see here, but I've seen this too on social media. Your before and after. Yeah. Tell us, yeah. so people just don't think you're some oh yeah. some some thin woman who's never had to experience any weight. Yeah. You you've had a, quite a journey. Tell us about that. Yes, I have. I've had uh, health problems since I was a little girl. I mean, for as long as I can remember, I've had different problems. But I reached a point you know, a couple decades ago where I was about 300 pounds and I had reached that breaking point of, okay, I'm done, I'm, I'm done with this. And I went back to school, I studied nutrition and became a health coach and I kind of just did that thing where I took it into my own hands and I worked with my doctors, um, several specialists who I was seeing at the time and kind of formulated this plan of what works for me. And I was that person back then mm -hmm. who, you know, I tried every diet that every girlfriend ever told, told me that was going to be the one that helped me. And I was doing all the wrong things because I was focusing on a diet instead of focusing on health and listening to what my body needed versus what everyone was telling me I needed. Um, and so once I flipped that switch and I started doing that, everything kind of just fell into place. And, you know, I was almost 300 pounds at that breaking point, and I'm about 145 now. Wow. And it didn't happen overnight. Like, <laughs> you're not going to. There's have no that magic kind of, pill. No, there isn't. Right. And that's the thing is you have to have the mindset mm -hmm. that I want this for myself. I want this um, for, you know, my family. But also be willing to work. Be willing to put the work in and willing to talk to your doctor. And when you said it's, it's not a diet, when you stop looking at the diet but at the health side of it, mm -hmm. what does that mean? A lot of times when you are focused on a diet, you're focusing on things that you have to eliminate. You know, if it's the vegan diet, I have to eliminate this. If it's a keto diet, I have to eliminate that. Um, a lot of times, you're, it's more focused on what I can't mm -hmm. eat. But whereas when you focus on health, you're focusing on what your body needs and what it needs to come into balance, to boost your metabolism, to regulate your blood sugars, to regulate your hormones. And when you do that, you're focusing more on what I can eat. Because the reality is, food is enjoyable for us. It's mm -hmm. something we need you know, to, to live and to survive, to survive. So when we focus on eliminating food that our body's naturally supposed to have, mm -hmm. it's almost like setting ourselves to fail because we, we're not wired that way. So getting rid of the food fear <laughs> and just allowing ourselves to enjoy food and giving our body what we need, that's 
that was the key for me. And your book, too, um, I know online you have a strong social media following, too. So if someone were to get this book, there's also kind of support online as well. Am I yes. correct? So you have Facebook groups and whatnot? Yes, there's a Facebook group called Rebuilding Your Temple. Mm -hmm. um, and I post a lot of recipes and different things, tips on that, too. And I'll be continually posting different things to help people as they start this program this process. Well, in a workbook too, like you said, yes. Hemi. What can someone do if they'd like to get this book? How do they get their hands on it? They can go to Amazon.com. Just search for Rebuilding Your Temple. There's going to be a whole series actually coming mm -hmm. out, like we said, the, the workbook. And then in 2020, there's going to be Re Rebuilding Little Temples. That is a children's series that focuses on teaching kids how to eat for their body so that you know it doesn't reach a point where it's just adults mm -hmm. and now I have to go backtrack and figure out what I went <laughs> and did wrong and re you know fix that it can help kids from the earliest ages learn how their body needs to how eat. great would that be though to have not you know eliminated all the mistakes we made when yeah. we were little yeah, and just exactly, growing up right? knowing what to eat <laughs> yeah. correctly yeah and I well, know you said to your pen name Stacy Mal though so if yes. anyone's looking for it it's called rebuilding your temple blueprints yes. for true and lasting health and uh it's so exciting and it's so fun to, like you said, I follow you on Facebook and you write some really inspirational things Thank you. that uh, even if you're not ready to start losing the weight, which clearly I haven't got there yet, oh, just no. <laughs> but we will, you know, it's just very inspirational though to see Thank other like-minded women who are going through the same thing and yes. uh, some of the, the suggestions and tips you have. Thank you. Stacey, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. And we hope you all have a great week. That's This Week in Erie.